Yo, guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. And I am over on the Scorched Earth update that just dropped. And there is a really, really, really powerful item that just got introduced, and that is the cart. Now, if you haven't seen the cart yet, I'll go ahead and talk about it, why it's powerful, and really what makes it so cool. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started with that right now. If you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing to the channel. It helps a ton. So anyways, without further ado, you can see it attached to my Therizinosaur right now. It is a literal cart that gets attached to the back. It is an actual thing, and it does a little bit of a, a weird thing. Now, before I say that, I mean it's literally a weird thing. I don't really have a better way to describe it than it's, it's very unusual. So... What it does is it literally attaches to a saddle that it already exists on a creature. As soon as I take the saddle off, you can see that it basically says can't unequip a saddle with structures built on it. So you can't unequip it unless you pick the stuff up. But the benefit is that this guy right here, right? It's an added bonus because the primitive platform cart adds 25 free armor. Now that is a huge boost. Huge, huge. That means you can basically go above the armor cap now with a lot of creatures. And uh, that's that's a massive, massive, massive difference. So you got to keep that in mind that that's something that's super, super strong. Now, so you can do that. And what else does the cart do, right? So that's, uh, that's what it does. Now, in order to get it, you have to have Bob's Tall Tales. Now, Bob's Tall Tales was just introduced in Scorched Earth. And you can see the engrams by going over here to Bob's Tall Tales and then scrolling down to level 22 with the platform cart. Now this platform cart quite literally sits on the back. It serves as a platform that you can add just about anything to from a bed to foundations to, you can see feeding trough here, or tro, whatever you want to call it, uh, chemistry bench. There's a whole bunch of different stuff um, that you can add to this. Unfortunately, you cannot add turrets. That's unfortunate. And plant species X is included in that, but there's pretty much everything else that you can add. So you can make these massive creatures that can have chemistry bench with a few boxes and stuff like that. So a Therizinosaur can literally go out, harvest meat to spoil it with a toilet on here, harvest the actual narcotics and make a chemistry bench. Now let that sink in. That means that you don't need to bring it back to base. You can do all of your stuff outside of base. Or for Scorched Earth, for example, you can make propellant on the go, you can make gunpowder, you can make spark powder on the go, you can make cementing paste if you get stone and keratin. There are a lot of possibilities, so you can have any one of these kind of guys. You can also put things like a grill on the back of your um, thing, which is, is just insane, right? Um, there's some really cool things that you can do. It attaches to most creatures. Now, pretty much any creature that has a inherent good grinding ability that means like your therizinosaur right because it's going to be able to add certain things you can put some uh storage chests on the back of this guy to actually increase the amount you can harvest with a therizinosaur you can actually place it on the back of an anki and then have a literal refining forge placed on this on the back of an anki and that's going to save you so much time or you can put a chemistry bench and have a mobile gunpowder slash spark powder making facility the the things that you can do with these are crazy now what i will say is it does add to the weight so if you put something on the back it will add to the weight of the creature because this thing actually serves as an extension of the creature if it takes damage the creature is actually the thing that is taking damage so you can watch the creature's health go down and it doesn't look like there's any sort of resistances as well it takes full damage from this so like unlike on like a triceratops this would take full damage so it's not something you just want to back into an enemy because it will cause a serious problem because it takes full damage and adds it to the creature so it's not broken in that regard so bravo arc on that component um and it's it's a very unique in that regard so what does it look like when you're driving this thing it's kind of goofy right because it has to turn with the creature and stay behind them um, but it does a really good job, actually. I kind of didn't anticipate it being that great, but it looks goofy. Outside of looking goofy, it's a very practical thing because it essentially makes an extension of the creature, the weakness obviously being that it takes damage, and then the creature itself takes damage from it, but it also gives any, I guess, a large number of creatures a massive boost in their ability to actually produce um, resources. So a Therizinosaur can literally go out and make its own resources now and then gather resources and just change things around. 
a Anki can go make spark powder on the run. There's all kinds of things that you can do with this. You can literally harvest things with this, spoil the meat, and it's there's a lot of practical resources for these things. Now, that 25 inherent armor is also a huge boost. So your medium-sized creatures that were taking an insane amount of damage now can, I mean, they can survive quite a bit longer. Because if you're just rocking prim saddles, that's double the armor, which basically cuts the amount of damage incoming by like 25% which is a huge boost. So definitely capitalize on that. Now the carts can be used and there's even things that you can place them on the Gallimimus. Now, as long as you place a saddle first, you can then place the cart on it. So can you imagine a Gallimimus running at full speed with people on the back of it and people on the actual cart? It's gonna be kind of crazy. Now, there are a few negatives I will admit, right? So if you add, let's see here, bench and then chair. So, so you can see, unfortunately, it looks like you can place chairs on this, which is going to cause a slight problem because it's going to give and people the ability to mesh a little bit easier. And I'll show you what I mean by that, right? Because what that means is I can stick somebody on the back of this, rotate my Anki around and put them inside of surfaces. Now, they won't be able to go inside of player walls and stuff like that because that's not a doable thing. It always kicks you off. But inside of the mesh itself, if I wanted to get into a location that was more difficult to access, right, and it's just not quite doable, you can do that right there, and then you can mesh somebody inside of an actual wall. Now, it can be a little bit problematic, obviously, especially when it comes to getting to locations that are more difficult. So this is going to certainly open up some new base locations that weren't possible before, but now are with kind of a two-man team, because you can whistle a uh, creature while you're riding this so if i get on this sit on the wooden chair and then i hit comma right comma will tell my creature to wrong button go to a direction apparently it's not going to listen to me that's interesting you go over there no it's not gonna where is go here hmm. oh well but you can whistle to a location and it's just not letting me right now. So you might be able to find a way to actually rotate this guy and get yourself inside of walls and stuff like that and mesh with it. So that's the only thing that's a little bit broken about it. But outside of that, it's a really, really awesome thing. And uh, it, it's super cool. I hope they fix that somehow to kick you off before you actually get into those kind of more difficult to reach areas. And uh, yeah, it's a really, really neat thing. So hopefully this video helps you out. And if you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm and then consider subbing to the channel. All right, teach.